As mentioned earlier, the animal kingdom is divided into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates refer to all animals that have a vertebra, backbone, which is cartilaginous or bony in nature. All vertebrates are bilaterally symmetrical with two pairs of appendages, includes paired fins and fishes. Most vertebrates have jaws for feeding and evolved, which involved in fishes. They also have a closed circulatory system and proper respiratory system, which involves gas exchanges. There are five groups of vertebrates, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Fishes are the earliest vertebrates and found as primitive jawless fish that evolved to jawed fishes and then to modern bony fishes. Jawless fishes are craniates that is, includes chordates with heads such as a hagfish that resemble an eel. They live on the ocean floors and feed on dead invertebrates, other fishes, and marine mammals. A unique feature of this group is that they have slime glands beneath the skins and are able to release mucus through surface pores. Jawed fishes have jaws that are cartilaginous and bony, hence allow the fish to grasp and tear its food. These include the sharks and rays. They have body plans adapted to aquatic life. Members of the bony fish are very diverse and the vast majority of the fishes belong to this group. They have oxified skeleton meaning composed of bone cells. They also have a lateral line system which helps to detect vibrations in water. Amphibians are vertebrates, tetrapods, and include frogs and salamanders. They were the first group that can live on dry land. However, sexual reproduction takes place in water. Their lungs were adapted for gas exchange on land. The amniotes include reptiles, birds, and mammals. They distinguish from amphibians that they have an egg and an embryo protected by amniotic fluid. They are able to have a complete life cycle on dry land. Reptiles are tetrapods, however limbless. They have vestigial characteristics of where limbs were present. These include turtles that have a shell, lizards, snakes, and crocodiles. Some general characteristics of reptiles are listed here. They live on land or in water. They are cold-blooded, become hotter and colder depending on the temperature outside. When the sun sets, their bodies get cooler. However, they soak the heat during daytime. They lay eggs on land. However, these eggs are fertilized in the body. Birds are the only m mammals with feathers, which help it to glide and insulate the body. Hence, they are warm-blooded animals. Birds possess a system of air sacs branching so that air can pass in one direction to the lungs, unlike mammals. Birds have several modifications to reduce body weight which includes lightweight bones, an efficient respiratory and circulatory system. Mammals are vertebrates that have hair and mammary glands used to provide nutrition for their young ones. There are three living lineage of mammals, egg-laying, pouched mammals, and placental mammals. Primates are a class of mammals which include monkeys, lemurs, apes, and humans. They have adaptation for climbing trees and can walk upright.
They have the best daytime vision and very refined hand movements. They have smaller teeth and bigger brains. And lastly, they have social complexity.